Let's be honest, school district budgets are confusing. It's a well of complicated formulas and funding sources. But grasping some of the basics of how Higley Unified School District receives and spends money can go a long way in understanding how your tax dollars work. Higley Unified School District receives its funding from two main sources. 95% of Higley's dollars come from state and local funding, while 5% comes from the federal government. Federal money is designated for such things as special education services and supporting the learning needs of students living in poverty. The thing is, federal money can only be used for specific programs. Pretty much every dollar Higley receives has strings attached. State money is divided into two main areas. First, maintenance and operations, or M&O. These are your day-to-day -day expenses for teacher and school staff salaries. This also covers utilities, including lights and air conditioning, as well as transportation services, curriculum, and general supplies. The second area is capital, and it can be used for durable items such as buildings, furniture, equipment, buses, and technology. If the community wants additional funds to provide a better education and environment for our children, the Higley Governing Board can decide to ask local voters to approve a maintenance and operations override, a capital override, or a bond authorization. Overrides and bonds are funded by local property taxes. Locally controlled override dollars have helped Higley offer more competitive salaries for teachers, provide funding needed for full-day kindergarten, provide additional support for student athletics, and allow the district to purchase new math and English language arts curriculum. Past bond funding has helped Higley build schools, construct and renovate buildings on existing campuses, and install new features that help keep our children safe. Remember, overrides are in place for a specific period of time and must be renewed by voters to continue. Bond funds are approved once and are available until they are gone. When overrides are not renewed, money and support for those programs go away. From year to year, the Higley budget changes due to factors such as enrollment, federal or state funding cuts, and whether or not voters approve an override or bond authorization. The Higley Unified School District continues to live within its means while cultivating A-rated schools and receiving national recognition.